Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, sponsored by AC Designs. Robert, thank you for that look back at Hurricane Matthew. I remember how it also destroyed the docks in the marina area in downtown Fernandina Beach back when I was calling Fernandina Beach home those seven years ago. Okay, so right now we are dealing with one system out in the tropics that is not a threat to Jacksonville, so this is good news for us. We are clear over here. Yesterday, Maine was hit hard by the remnants of Philippe, and now we have this wave that's out in the Atlantic. High chance of it becoming a tropical depression this work week, but again, it is not a threat to us. We will be watching this little low pressure system move across the Gulf. It will bring us rain, but it's not expected to be named. So all good news right now for us locally here when it comes to the tropics. Other good news, these beautiful pictures. Let me step out of the way so we can just admire what was the beautiful sunset. Thank you to our first Coast News weather watchers for sending in these photos all across the first coast. It was absolutely gorgeous and the best part is that the temperatures were cooperating too, quickly falling through the 60s at this time. So a lot of people got to get outside and enjoy the sunset and enjoy the weather. The lower humidity now temperatures are still quickly falling. We are in the 50s for a lot of us and soon the 40s. Well, Brunswick already coming in at 49 degrees and Lake City. You're almost there right at 50 degrees. So this is much cooler than we were yesterday evening, even though by this time we had already started to notice the drop in temperatures. Still right now we are over 10 degrees cooler in a lot of places across the first coast than we were around 11 15 11 20 yesterday evening. So this evening, if you're about to step outside real quickly to try to see the Falcon 9 launch right now, I'll, as of last check, it was set for 1138 PM temperatures again sitting in the 50s for a lot of us. What I will watch though is that it looks like there's a good bit of cloud cover down there, unfortunately, and I believe the trajectory is off to the southeast, so it'll probably be a little difficult to see. But if you want to give it a go, go for it. Don't forget your jacket because again, these temperatures quickly dropping lows tonight, likely down into the 40s for a lot of us and then staying chilly through the morning hours. You'll want to keep your light sweater on hand. So overnight, I'm going with a low of 48 degrees at the airport, mid to upper 50s across the coast. But look at this. If we hit that low of 48 degrees at the airport, that will make it the third coolest morning that we have had at the airport in Jacksonville in record time. The record was 46 degrees set back in the year 2000. Then tomorrow, a beautiful day. Highs right near 79 degrees. Lots of sunshine. Enjoy it because look at this. Rain chances really increase on Thursday. I do expect us to see the most amount of rain and that's tropical moisture. So that means heavy rain starting late Wednesday night and into Thursday. That could lead to some localized flooding. We'll watch it closely. Maybe some street flooding with that heavy rain. The good news is another cold front is on the way that will move through on Saturday and leave us with another gorgeous Sunday.